Yep. I'd like to turn to the 48C energy manufacturing credit. The Inflation Reduction Act put $10 billion in this, and applications will start this summer, and DOE will support that selection process. Um, this, the fusion innovation, again, is just uh, the amount of work that's being done. Would you agree that the clean energy fusion, which is 100% carbon-free, would be eligible for those tax credits? In addition, Washington State fusion companies would benefit from a milestone-based development program similar to the one used to accelerate development of commercial space launch industry. So DOE stood up this milestone program last year and requested proposals. I'm told that it's way oversubscribed. Uh, and so, uh, so I'm pleased to see that the budget request that you have increases the fusion milestone development program. What are the administration's plan to further expand this program? Yeah. Um, First of all, this is a record amount of funding for fusion, uh, and it is a signal, obviously, now that our national ignition facility has achieved ignition, uh, that it can be done, even though uh, most of the commercial fusion is based upon magnets rather than lasers. Uh, nonetheless, it demonstrates that it's possible. So I, I hope that we can continue, and thank you for the, for the support in chips and science, the authorization, very important. It allows us to continue to take steps in this budget as down payment to get to that full authorized amount. Fusion, obviously, is a hugely important piece of that going into the future. Um, with respect to its eligibility for 48C, I'm assuming because it is a clean uh, energy manufacturing process that it would be eligible, but I'd have to get back to you to, okay. to confirm. And